Hello, today we continue with our control of Lexium 32 using codices and DSP photo 2 and topic is profile velocity. The idea is just to run velocity on the drive. First thing, we will need to add certain data in our process data and for that we need to first enable expert settings. Then we go to expert process data. And like said in previous video, we will use the last assembly. And here we see that we have target velocity, so we will use this. We would also need acceleration and deacceleration for that profile. So let's add also those. And for inputs, we see here actual position torque following error but we don't have actual velocity so let's add that next step is to change startup parameters by default limit switches are active in the drive so let's just deactivate those By setting the value of this register to zero, we deactivated our limit switches. Next step is to go to EtherCAT IO mapping. Here we will use modes of operation, also actual operating mode. Then we will use profile acceleration, deceleration and velocity. And we will use also actual velocity. So let's map those. Next step is to go to our program and here we will need to add one variable which is going to be a boolean variable for executing profile velocity. Let's first put this drive state and here now we need to add new action call it and we need to call this action in our PLC program after a drive state let's go to this action profile velocity first the condition to execute profile velocity will need to have a drive in run and also not in error so let's do that this is our condition to run This is a condition of fault on the drive. Then we do not execute any further code if we do not meet any of those two conditions. And now simple code how to execute velocity. We execute profile velocity operating mode but setting up operating mode register enumeration 3 which is equal to profile velocity. And now we need to prepare visualization. Let's do that. Here we will put active operating mode. Then we will see what is our actual velocity.
we selected the velocity so we will also do the same for acceleration and deceleration And also there is one bit from a status word that is very interesting for us. It's target reach. This bit will tell us when the drive reached velocity. And this is a bit 10 from a status word. Now that we have everything, we can try to load this program and run. Run. In the right corner, you can see two motors. The one that we want to control is the right one. So first, let's reset. Let's enable the drive. And as you can see, we have still active operating mode minus one, which is jog. If we now say profile velocity, we change active operating mode to 3. And if we define values for acceleration, deacceleration and speed, let's put something small like 20. We see that the motor starts to move. As soon as the velocity is reached, it will flag that it has reached the velocity. Let's put something bigger. He is accelerating, we see the velocity increase, and now he reached it. If we want to stop, we simply go down to zero, target is reached, and then we can, for example, disable the drive. So that's it, how we use profile velocity. I hope you liked this video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!